What's up guys, it's Josh back with another video and today I want to do something a little bit different. I've been making videos on the Linux operating system as well as open source software and technology, you know, for a number of years now. And it has been a wonderful journey, you know what I'm saying? I've learned a lot throughout this process and I also met some amazing people out here on YouTube. And today I ran across a video that was super interesting to me, uh, made by another Linux YouTuber. And the title of the video is Linux Distro Reviews Are Mostly Terrible. Now, this is something that I've incorporated on my channel in most cases because it does tend to get a lot of views, especially when you review distributions right around the release date. Because there are a lot of people looking into the topic and they'll obviously search YouTube to find out about this distribution. And so those videos, yeah, they tend to do pretty good, you know, on a YouTube channel. And so I have incorporated it. Uh, I mostly, you know, focus in on software or getting people to install software or showing people how to install software and manage configuration files. But I do do those distro reviews and I kind of follow the same format that Matt pointed out in this video that we're going to review today. And one of the statements that Matt made was that this kind of format is is trash because you can't come up with a full review by just going through the operating system for, you know, a number of minutes installing and all that stuff. You can't really give it a full review, which I 100% agree with on that point. I just don't 100% agree with everything he said in the video. So let's go on and hop over and I'm going to bring up his video and we'll kind of go through some of the things that he said in the video, the points that I agree with as well as the points that I don't necessarily 100% agree with. But Matt, I hope you don't take anything personal. I'm not trying to, you know, come at you personally. Uh, I enjoy your channel. I actually subscribed to your channel, I would say a couple months ago when I found out about it. But I tend to not watch many other Linux YouTubers because I want I don't want to have like influences from other people uh, as far as like the creativity that goes into creating content. I don't want to have any outside influences. So I tend to not watch many other Linux YouTubers. I watch mainly other tech, you know, channels, but I do subscribe because I support, you know, Linux in general. I support the operating system. I support the community. You know what I'm saying? I really like you know open source technology as well as the linux operating system and this is something that i'm very passionate about and over the years i've gained an audience and i believe that they enjoy my passion you know with this and they have followed me through this process of actually learning and understanding the linux operating system now there's one other thing i wanted to say before we get to the video now i look at uh people that use linux there there are three different categories so there are your professionals and those people tend to work in the IT field. They are, you know, systems administrators. They probably have rail certifications, you know, out the yin yang as well as, you know, Linux foundation certifications. And they understand Linux security and they understand how to manage systems in a production environment. Now, after that, there are what you would call either a power user or someone that's been using Linux for a very long time. And I kind of fall in that category as well. Uh, I've been using Linux for, you know, a number of years. I've never worked in a production environment, but I do have a working understanding of Linux and how it works and how to actually use it. And that wasn't always the case for me, you know especially once I was first introduced to it, because typically most people are introduced to Windows starting out and you never really get any, you know, uh, knowledge or you learn anything about the Linux operating system till later on, until you start looking into other things. Now, the third user or person that I would say that uses Linux is a total noob, someone that's 100% new to the operating system. And they kind of, you know, fall into how I was when I first, you know, looked into Linux. They really have no direction. They really don't know what they're doing. Uh, it's very difficult. It's very foreign to them when they actually look at the operating system. It doesn't make sense because they're used to, you know, Windows operating system, Windows 10, Windows 11. And so a lot of my videos tend to be tailored towards 
the total noobs or the people that are new to the Linux operating system. And I feel as though this is where these types of reviews kind of fall, you know, for people that are totally new to it. They never installed it before. And that's how I tend to record my videos as well. I look at it from the standpoint of me being a new person that has never played around with Linux, but has gained an interest in it. And you want to make those videos as simple as possible. So if someone wants to try it out or if you want to get someone interested in it, then these are the perfect, perfect type of videos for them to look at. And and now I'm not trying to make excuse, but that's tend to how I make my videos. That's that's the overall purpose of the way I create my videos when it comes to like distribution reviews as well as some software showing people how to use software and all that good stuff now let's go down hop up to the video i kind of rambled a little too much uh less and i also kind of hit on some of my points i was gonna make while reviewing the video but let's go down and go to this video so you guys can uh check out matt and hear what he had to say Distro reviews are some of the most popular videos on my channel and that's true for a lot of linux youtubers no matter their size a lot of linux youtubers thrive on making linux distro reviews and there's nothing wrong with that and i 100 percent agree and i know i hit on this earlier but i 100 percent agree with that um like i said those reviews you know that's that's like kind of like your bread and butter especially when you become a linux youtuber uh doing reviews and showing people the different operating systems or the different distributions that you can use with linux is very beneficial to a youtube channel you can uh gain an audience doing a lot of reviews but then again, I say that's it's an important thing because that's how I got into using Linux. Now, I was showing Linux from uh, someone I actually worked with uh, while I worked as a network administrator for a small company. Uh, they were running a lot of things using Linux. And so he showed me what Linux was. I had never heard of it before. And I think I, I told this whole story on my channel before. So uh, you can check that out if you want to. I give more in detail on what actually happened. But what got me into really learning Linux or really wanting to understand the operating system was reviews similar to what you know you see today. And one of the most prominent YouTubers, you know, that got me into Linux as much, you know, as much as I am now is DistroTube. His reviews follow this same format. But anyway, let's get back to the video. But the problem is, is that the way we as a Linux YouTube community have decided to do Linux distro reviews is not good. And like I said, I'm not pointing fingers at anyone because I've done this as well. Many of the first looks on my channel follow a specific format that the vast majority of Linux YouTubers also follow. You know, we install the distro, usually or almost exclusively in a virtual machine. And then once the distro has installed, we'll reboot the virtual machine, get into the distro. We'll walk you through what the distro looks like. And then we'll walk you through the applications that are installed by default. And then we give an opinion on it. It's not good. Now, the reason why it's not good is because you can't tell anything or at least very few things about a distro by a installing it in a virtual machine but also by spending like 20 minutes with it like you can't i mean very and i 100 percent agree there uh it's very hard to review something uh being in that you've only played around with it for a little while or this is your first time installing it while in recording a video i 100 percent agree with you there now the thing i kind of have a problem with is that we're all not on the same level when it comes to learning this operating system. We're all not at the power user level. That's why I kind of broke those down. You know, you got your uh, professionals, you got your power users, and you got your beginners, your noobs. We're all not at that power user level where we totally understand how to install this stuff. And I know it's, it seems kind of simple and redundant in a lot of reviews. We're showing the Calamaris installer, which is used on a lot of distributions now. Super simple to use. But let's say this video is the first time someone has ever heard of Linux and they never heard of the Calamaris installer. Let's say they've never heard of how to download the ISO as well as write it to USB drive and, and go through and try to put it on a system or put it within a virtual machine. 
then they have to have some of that you know information put out there even for like newer videos there are new people coming out of high school every day learning about the linux operating system so there has to be some new content coming out with this basic knowledge that most of us power users which matt i put you in the same category you know as a power user just like me um know already but a lot of these people don't know this so that's kind of where i kind of step back a little bit from you know your point very rarely can you tell how good or bad a distribution is by spending 20 minutes with it now obviously there are some exceptions like if the thing won't boot in past grub or something like that then you can make an opinion like oh this thing is broken but past that, if it's, everything seems to be working, your opinion based on 20 minutes isn't going to be that well formed. You've only spent 20 minutes with a thing. You can't have possibly made up your mind on how good or bad a distro is based on that amount of time. And if you have made up your mind, well, I mean, you probably have some more preconceived notions over the distro than you probably expect. So this whole idea that you can review a distribution in a virtual machine in the course of 20 or 30 minutes is just it's farcical it's not a good thing and it's not a good way of going about doing things and like i said i'm not pointing fingers at anybody because i've done this exact same thing it is a very easy proposition to sit down in front of your computer go to distro watch find a distro that no one's ever heard of before create a series called wtf and then make a video in a half an hour or so going through that outline that I just said. It's very easy to do that. These are very easy videos to make and usually very easy videos to edit and they do very well on YouTube. They get a lot of views. Some of my videos that are distro reviews that follow that format have gotten tens of thousands of views and now I don't necessarily agree with the video only turkey taking 30 minutes. Um, for me it, it's totally different bro like i i do a lot of you know research or l looking into the distribution looking through the documentation uh and i also pre-install these distributions i don't just uh put the iso in the virtual machine and boot it up and record nah i a lot of times install the operating system before, beforehand and i also try to show issues that i run into when installing the operating system as well and i know it's different for everyone you know you may be using different type of hardware uh and of course i'm using a virtual machine so that's totally different you know you got all your drivers for that to essentially virtualize the hardware on the system but these reviews actually take time that's why i don't do as many on my channel i do maybe uh, a couple of months maybe um, like I think the last one I did was you went to 22 and I tend to stick to long-term supported releases, but uh, you went to I believe uh, 22.04 I did some server stuff, you know on it But those videos actually take longer than the other videos where I'm showing some type of software I'm showing how to configure something uh, The reviews actually take longer, you know in my opinion because I want to put out as much information as possible And I know you're not talking to everyone, you know what I'm saying? And maybe you are I don't know, uh, but it doesn't take you know just a 30 minute quick video i don't know for me uh it's kind of a long process when it comes to distro reviews for me and like i said people seem to be okay with it for the most part they click on these things like crazy and they seem to just watch them but as a youtuber as someone who's trying to elevate the content on youtube just a little bit i have tried over the last four or five months or so to ease myself away from distro reviews in that manner. I've tried to do only long-term reviews or at least reviews that take longer than 20 minutes. So for example, my last one was the Ubuntu review. I used that for two weeks. Now that's not long-term or anything, but I installed it on hardware multiple times. I used it for two weeks and then I gave a review of it. And I think that this is a better way of doing things. It's just... No, I agree. I mean, hundred percent, you can get the best um you know you can get the best um review by installing it on hardware i 100 percent agree there uh but the problem that 
uh, a lot of YouTubers run into, especially doing these types of reviews on hardware, is having the extra hardware laying around to to install a bunch of you know distributions. And so, therefore, that's why a lot of people use a lot of virtual machines when it comes to this. And a lot of times, in most cases, I recommend people, especially people that are new to Linux, to install Linux in a virtual machine. That way you can understand the way the operating system works. So, or you at least get a, a good understanding of how to use the operating system before you 100% commit to hardware. So that's another, uh, I would say, point uh for people doing the reviews in a virtual machine is mainly to you know walk people through how to actually do it therefore they can play around with the operating system before doing a full commit to some hardware i don't know that's just my thoughts something it allows you to actually have a sense of how good or bad a distro is if you've actually used it on hardware or even better a variety of hardware now now one thing now one thing i can say also is the terminology or the meaning of review essentially a lot of us are not really doing reviews what we're doing is kind of like a a quick look so to speak at the operating system because you're right i agree 100 percent that uh a review needs to it really needs to be on hardware you know in a lot of cases that that will give you the best chance for you to review the operating system and get a full understanding if it's going to work or not you know what i'm saying but that only ties to your hardware you know what i'm saying everybody has different computers out there uh with different gpus uh different things that you know different cpus different pretty much different architecture you know all that so yes it will work great on your hardware but i've ran into situations where you know, I've recommended an operating system to someone uh, or I help someone install an operating system that has worked great on my hardware, but their system or their laptop, whatever it was, uh, they couldn't get it to work properly over there. Uh, maybe it was some, some driver issues or some issues with the uh, distribution itself. So it's not like a one size fits all. If it works on your hardware, that means that it's going to you know 100% work everywhere else and I know that's not the purpose of it of your review but I'm just saying that that tends to be the issue that's why I, that and that's another reason I think a lot of people do virtual machines as well uh when showing off these distributions is because of that reason right there and you can give the people who are watching that video a sense of how good that distro is or how bad it is or what problems there are chances are if you've just used a distro in a vm for 20 or 30 minutes you haven't experienced the problems that you would experience if you've used it for you know two weeks or three weeks or a month or whatever so for me personally i've decided that there are going to be no distro reviews on on this channel that follow that format any longer it's just not really anything that i'm interested in for multiple reasons i don't think that they're good which is the biggest reason but also I'm just bored of them. I'm, I'm bored of watching them. I'm bored of recording them. They're 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 just not fun for me to make anymore. They're easy. And I understand what you what you mean by that. Uh, it is kind of boring, but you also have to look at it like, okay, what what level are you in? You know, as far as uh, using Linux. I mean, there is no purpose for you to use a like distro review or watch a distro review because you're not new to linux you've been using linux for a very long time and so that's that's my whole point for those different you know levels like i wouldn't expect someone as a professional you know or someone that works in the it field and actually manage you know linux servers you know manage security on those servers and all that stuff to come down and watch a review of uh, or a quick, you know, look of a Ubuntu, you know, uh, quick review to actually learn something. You know what I'm saying? I mean, it's just to put the information out there about the, you know, operating system as far as changes and show new software that may be included, you know, things like that. So anyway, let me get back to it. Easy. Like I said, it's really easy to sit down and do these things because they all follow the same format or whatever. And it's just, you know, it's just 
popping them out. You know, you could pop out three or four a week if you wanted to and, and have yourself a really good YouTube channel that probably gets, gets lots of views and lots of subscribers. But for me personally, I like making videos that I enjoy, that take a little bit of effort. You know, I joke all the time that I'm a lazy person and I think I am a lazy person, but I would much rather put some effort into making a true review than pop out these, you know, very simple VM based distro first looks that I've posted many times in the past. So overall, I would just kind of like to address the Linux YouTube community. I understand where you're coming from when it, you know, making these videos. As I've said, they're very popular and there's a reason why when Ubuntu does a new release, every single Linux YouTuber out there releases a review that exact day. And yeah, and that's one thing I tend to not do. I try not to put out the reviews around the, you know, release date. I try to, you know, give it time because in the past, and I've been using Ubuntu for a very long time. In the past, there's always been a lot of bugs in the beginning. Even if it's a long term supported release, I've ran into, you know, issues with distribution. So I tend to kind of wait before, you know, I do a review or a quick look or, you know, install it and play around with it, you know. And so my videos tend to come out later than a lot of other people. And that might, that might be hindering my channel's growth, but oh, well, uh, I try to, and then that's the thing. I don't, I don't want to be influenced by other people. So I try not to watch their videos as well, their reviews on it. So I tend to not pay attention to distro. If I see someone posting a distro review, I'm definitely not going to check it out. Now, if it's some software, you know what I'm saying? Then you know i may check it out or something but that's what i typically do but to each his own <laughs> you know i'm not going to say that those guys have never haven't used ubuntu or whatever it is for a, you know a few days or something like that because some of them probably have but you can also tell the people who've only spent 20 or 30 minutes or whatever and especially the people who are trying to just kind of make it as fast as possible in order to get that video out so that it gets all the clicks that you'd get on release day you know you can tell all these things and it just it lowers the quality of the content that you're making at least in my opinion it, it just does and it shows a lack of effort and like I said I'm not saying that that's a bad thing I do lack of effort videos all the time like ugh. Half of my videos, at least, are lack of effort videos. And like I said, also, I've done these videos in the past, so I understand. But I just implore people to start thinking about the content that they're creating and maybe put a little bit more effort into it if you can, simply because it does make a difference. It will show not only that you're doing a good job and putting effort into something, but it also gives a better idea for people who are actually clicking on these videos of what the distro is all about. Is it good? No, I, I, I agree with that. I mean, you should put as much effort as you can into the videos. Uh, if you're putting it out there, you know, for the pub for public consumption, you definitely should do that. You definitely, I'm not saying, <laughs> I hope it's not coming across as I'm saying, uh, you know, put out, you know, lack of effort videos, like he stated um definitely put effort into it you know what i'm saying i tend to try to put as much effort as i can into most of my videos but i also am not a full-time youtuber i have a full-time job uh that i work in majority of youtubers do as well they have full-time jobs and uh they may not be dependent 100% uh, dependent on their youtube check which i'm not you know what i'm saying i recently turned on my monetization or not turned it on it's been on for a while but uh, I recently took out the money from my AdSense account, which was not that much money at all. You know what I'm saying? And that was mainly because I they made some changes to AdSense. They uh, switched it up the way you view it. And so I would just always go check and see how much money was up there or whatever every now and then. Well, I went to the AdSense account, didn't show my money anymore. So I was like, oh, crap. I hope they didn't, you know, because the money had just been sitting there. <laughs> And the way I was keeping it there was not adding a way for them to pay me. So I hadn't put my like my bank account information in there, basically, so they could send the money to my account. Uh, so it was just sitting over there. And so I recently did that, like, because I thought I had lost it, you know, because it was just sitting there, you know, for a number of years. I actually <laughs> just had money sitting over there. And so, you know, my full-time job is my priority. You know, YouTube is not my priority. It's, uh, 
you know, whenever I have time, I make videos. So, and then I have made some videos that were lack of effort, like uh, he stated. Uh, some of them I could have put a little bit more time into, but didn't have the time to put into it. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, and not excuse, but, you know, whatever it is, what it is, that's that's my life. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and it's not everybody's situation. But let's go a little further and then we're going to cut it off. But does it have flaws? You know, what's your actual experience with it? Because you know, spending some t actual time in the distro will do not only you some good, but the people who are watching your videos, which is the whole point of it. You want to give those pe the audience the best overview of what that distro is about and make that video worth their time. Because at the end of the day, time's all we got. And I don't really have any data to back this up, but I would reckon that quite a few people who click on a video that says Ubuntu... 22.10 review and it's just them installing Ubuntu and showing you what apps have been installed pre-installed and then saying oh this is really good you know I, I would bet that a lot of people are pretty disappointed that they clicked on that video if they even made it past like the three minute mark so putting some effort into it and you know doing an actual review I think it is good for both the audience and the youtuber in the long run and that's my plan going forward so if you have thoughts on this I know this was a little bit of inside baseball but it does all right, cool. So, yeah, it was an awesome video by Matt. I really like that he started the conversation about this, uh, which I think is, you know, super cool. You know, um, they they need to have conversations around, you know, topics like this, uh, you know, the way we put out the content to the viewers, you know what I'm saying? And so it's an awesome video. And it's great that he actually, you know, went out and did this because it's really got people talking about it and like i said i follow the linux community you know i follow i look at you know trends i look at you know what's actually going on in different different youtubers i try not to like i said i don't want to be influenced by anyone i want it to be as natural as possible at least you know for the content that i put out but this conversation does need to be had um and i hope he doesn't take uh my points that i said any 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 type of way you know shout out to uh matt definitely check out his channel it's called the linux cast he has an awesome youtube channel over there uh covering the linux operating system and i may hit you up and see if we could do maybe a collab or something uh because I, I really like your channel i enjoy what you cover uh like not that long ago um i ran across your channel and um i you know followed it and everything subscribed to it right away you know i was like ah another linux youtuber let's get it you know what i'm saying so shout out to him definitely check out his channel and i hope you guys enjoy the video please like share and subscribe to the channel and if you have any questions you know or comments go down and leave comments down below you know what i'm saying if you agree or disagree with some of the points i made you know or what are your thoughts on the linux cast video as well um and definitely go over there and give him a view you know like and all that stuff on his channel uh for that video you know what i'm saying like i said that conversation needs to be had uh please uh leave your thoughts down in the comments below and of course keep it tight